What is up Kings, it's Andy Graziosi helping you unleash your confidence. In today's video, we're gonna talk about getting an expect specifically how to seduce her. You know, you can do everything right, you can do no contact right, or maybe you make some mistakes, but she comes back to get talking again, then you meet up, maybe you have dinner or something like that, you set up a date, but then how do you actually seduce her? Because the bottom line is, Nothing matters if you can't get her into the bedroom. Nothing matters if you can't get her to commit. So in today's video, I have a situation from a guy who made a bit of a mistake and I wanna talk about his mistake and how he did it wrong to seduce her. Now, before I get into this message, I wanna say a quick thank you and also make a quick announcement. So you can check the time code in the YouTube video if you wanna just jump through this intro. So first of all, the little announcement that I wanna make that I'm probably gonna make a little bit bigger again in a few weeks from now, but basically I've been working really hard on my breakup course. And I've just finished the first module. I've been putting this off for the longest time because there's so much research that had to go into this. And I finally am tackling this dragon, basically. It's such a beast. So I've just finished the first module. I'm planning to finish the next few modules, the last few modules, in the next one or two, three weeks. And so I'm looking for some people who want to take the program and you can actually get this program for free. And it's gonna be a limited offer, so probably I'm gonna take five to 10 people who want to go through the program for free and the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to get some feedback and I'm also hoping that maybe I can get some testimonials so that I can put it obviously on my program website. You know, what do you think about the course? And then very shortly after that, in the next few months, I will be running this course at a discounted price. Uh, I don't know yet the price, but basically I'm gonna experiment with the price. Some of my clients, they say that some of my competitors have, have courses for 3,000 bucks, which is a bit high in my opinion because I don't think everybody can afford this but I'm basically gonna experiment what is the sweet spot that is not too expensive, but that's basically the right thing. And so for the next few months, that course is going to be also available in a reduced price. And it's gonna go higher over time as I figure out what's the perfect pricing for it. So reach out to me if you wanna be part of the program. Like I said, it's gonna be a limited offer. Five to 10 people can get it for free. And then after that, in the next few weeks, it's gonna be paid at a limited price. And then after that, after a few more months, once I figured out the pricing, I don't know yet how long it's gonna take, eventually it's gonna be probably relatively expensive. So reach out to me if you wanna get the opportunity to get it for a cheaper price right now. And of course, in the next few weeks when the program is finished and I'm not gonna record more videos or do more research and stuff like that, I will of course announce it on the channel. I'll also explain more about what is in the program. But in a nutshell, for you to understand what's roughly in there, it's a mix between understanding the psychology of no contact and your ex, but also understanding your own psychology and helping you to become kings, become strong again, to reattract an ex with strength. So it's a lot about overcoming anxiety. It's a lot about moving forward, about becoming strong again. And of course, I will also talk about psychology, how that relates to your ex. And I'm also making sure that there are a lot of worksheets that are based on NLP or CBT to help you grow and figure out what are the things that you have to do that matter the most to you for you to get your ex back and also for you to move forward happily with or without your ex. And there is a shit ton of science in there. So that's roughly what's in the program. So if you want it, shoot me a message. So that's it for the announcement. Now I just wanna say a quick thank you to all of you. I wanna say a quick thank you to everybody who has been watching my channel, everybody who has subscribed, of course subscribe more, and everybody who's engaging in the comments. The last few years have been so difficult for me because I've been stuck here in Germany, no way to go home, <laughs> Spider-Man no way home for two plus years and it's been really hard on my psyche and this channel has really kept me going. Seeing that I'm having a real impact and being able to help you really helped me to keep moving forward. So in the next two days, I'm finally flying to Bali, finally beach again, surf, yes. So thank you everybody. I don't know yet if I'm gonna have like a short break between recording videos or not. I'll have to see how that goes. So if I'm gonna have a quick break, sorry about that, but I'm moving and I gotta take care of a lot of shit, most likely errands and stuff like that, getting licenses and so on and so forth. So I might be offline for a week, I don't know yet. So let's see how that goes. But I just wanna say a big, big thank you to all of you because you kept me going in my worst time of my life, quite frankly. And that's by the way, what I want you to take away from this thank you message. Life sometimes can really fucking suck and obviously a breakup sucks like crazy. I know that you've gone through a lot of grief. I've also gone through a lot of grief in the last years with my friends and relationships and all that stuff. And let's be real, sometimes life just really kicks you in the balls. And I know a lot of you are struggling, but things will get better. For me, they're finally getting better. And I hope that everybody who's watching this channel, if you don't feel great yet, I hope you will feel better soon. Thank you so much for watching. And now let's get into the message. So he says, hey coach, I hope you can help me out with seducing my ex. She and I broke up about four months ago and despite begging to get her back, I went into no contact very fast and then she didn't hear anything from me at all. Surprisingly, I did not expect to hear from her for a long time because of the begging, but once I did no contact, the tables turned relatively quickly 
and she started messaging me quite often actually. Yeah, that's a perfect example of what I just said. Things get better. And no matter how much you screwed up, no matter how much you've been begging over time, your ex is going to forgive you for that. She's going to understand that you weren't yourself, you weren't thinking straight, you were too emotional, you were in a really hot emotional state. And she understands why you were like that. And no matter what the reason was why you broke up in the first place, unless it was something really abusive, she's gonna forgive you relatively quickly. And then it's just a matter of how much she misses you. And there's a lot of factors that go into that. Her attachment style, is she anxious? What's going on with her friends? What's going on with work? How does she feel right now? How is she coping with the breakup? And depending on her, she might miss you really quickly or it could take a long time. It could also take a while while she's dating some other guy and that guy turns out to not make her happy and then she realizes, okay, it was a mistake, I miss you, let me check what's going on with you and then she comes back. So it often comes like out of the blue, you don't expect it because you've been screwing up so much, you feel so terrible but things are not as bad as you might think. So always keep your cool, stay focused on yourself, stay focused on becoming a king, unleash the king within and that's how you gotta do it and eventually she's gonna reach out. And if she doesn't, at least you're focused on your happiness. So you've been doing a great job so far, so let's see what you have to say now. So he says, so no contact went great, way better than I ever could have hoped for to be honest. So we began chatting again and then last week I invited her out for a date. We went for dinner at our favorite Italian restaurant and afterward we went for unlimited wine. Nice, that's the perfect setup. You're going to a place where you're familiar with place did you like you probably had some great memories there so the vibe is pretty good and then you have some unlimited wine so over time of course if you have as you have some more alcohol things loosen up a little bit it's often very awkward when you go out with an ex and you know you don't know what to say and you know there's an elephant in the room and maybe you have to talk about the relationship or you feel like you have to talk about the relationship but if you set it up in a way that is very relaxing that really helps with facilitating to seduce your ex. So good job for setting up your date the right way. So far you've done everything right so let's see. He says things were still a bit awkward at the restaurant but once the wine started flowing our date became super fun. It's as if we never had broken up so I decided to try my luck and asked her if she wanted to cuff <coughs> get the cooking books that she still had at my place. <laughs> so bullshit excuse, you wanna get my cooking books? You wanna have a coffee or something like that? Great, and if she's into you, she's basically gonna say, yes, I need my cooking books. So good job, that's the right way to go. You came up with some bullshit excuse where she can just say, yeah, I totally need my cooking books. Let's do some cooking. And then maybe we can also eat something. And what's gonna be eaten? Hopefully her pussy. So good job so far. Let's see what goes on. He says, the excuse worked and we went to my apartment. And of course, we didn't just pick up my books for her, lol. We made out quite a bit on the couch. Probably for at least 15 minutes until I decided to go for third base. I asked her if she wanted to have sex, but when I asked her, she became hesitant all of a sudden. Yeah, that's where you went wrong. Why did she become hesitant? Because you basically questioned yourself. You weren't really sure about, can you actually go for this? So you said that you've been making out for 15 minutes. Um, you could probably go for seducing her faster than 15 minutes, but you know, maybe she needs some time to open up, that's fine. The problem is that you actually asked permission. Hey, do you wanna have sex? Hey, can we have sex? That's not the right way to go. I don't know, have I ever asked a woman to have sex with me? Like, hey, is it okay we have sex? I don't think I've ever done it. It's just really awkward. It's approval seeking behavior. It's very beta male. And that shows her that you're kind of unsure about her. But also by asking her, you're triggering something in her brain. All of a sudden she's thinking, wait, can you have sex with me? Do I actually want this? And now she starts thinking with her brain rather than with her emotions or rather with her attraction. Because until this point, she was fine. You were making out, you've had a lot of wine. She clearly wanted to get laid but now she's backing off. And she only starts backing off once you bring sex onto the table. Honestly, if you would have just basically taken her to the bedroom, but also you could also just fuck her on the couch, she probably wouldn't say or do anything. You take off her clothes and she's gonna like it and most likely she wouldn't have done anything. Of course, if she says she's not ready or something like this, then fine, you gotta stop, but you shouldn't have asked for permission. You should have assumed I'm an alpha, I'm amazing, I've worked on myself, no contact has been doing great, she is attracted to me again and she wants me, so I'm gonna go for it. 
that's what a king would do. But you probably still had a little bit of insecurity about her. You were not sure if you can actually go for it. And that's why you created a situation that you actually didn't want to happen. So honestly, I think it probably was your fault that it didn't go your way. Sure, maybe she could have been turned off, but honestly, everything that you've told me so far sounds like there was no problem. She was ready to get laid by you. She wanted to until that moment. So he then says, she said that she thinks it is all going a little bit too fast and I agreed and said it's fine. So in a nutshell, I failed to seduce her and we then just continued to cuddle a bit more on the couch and eventually she called an Uber. Yeah, fuck man, that really sucks. So it was going too fast? Not really, it wasn't going too fast for her all this time. But you basically tried to seduce her with your words, not with your actions. So perhaps she started thinking about the implications. Like what does this mean? Does he expect me to be back in a relationship with him? If you wouldn't have talked about this at all, you just would have had sex. It would have been amazing and most likely she would have really loved it if you didn't screw up anything, if you didn't say anything wrong after sex of course as well. And then you would have just repeated that process and over time you probably would have been a couple again. Or for some of you, you can already be a couple again right after this. You don't want to put a label on it but you know, you probably both know, okay, you know what, why did we break up? This was great and let's try it again. So it sounds like she got turned off by your weakness. Maybe you could have even tried to seduce her again one more time at a later stage. But you know, I don't know what happened there, why she had to go home. So anyway, Miss Shot, you shouldn't have asked her about, hey, you wanna have sex, don't ask for permission. Just try to have sex with her and then she's gonna show you with her actions that she doesn't want to. But don't ask her about it, that's just weak. So he then says, that's been two days ago and I haven't messaged her since then because I am feeling insecure right now and don't wanna screw up. I can feel that I'm not feeling 100% right now because she rejected me. I'm hopeful that she's going to message me again and we can go out again. But how do I proceed? If it was going too fast for her, should I not take her to my place anymore? Should I do the cliche thing of giving her space and time? Or do I try seducing her again and I just caught her off guard so next time she'll expect it and be ready to have sex with me? Thanks for your advice, coach. So you said it splendidly, it's all about your insecurity. So yes, right now you should be giving her the space and time. You know, this, doesn't, this didn't work out for her. So, but I don't think that she's completely turned off. I think she probably doesn't even properly know what's going on right now and how she feels. She probably can't explain herself. Like, why did I feel like this? Why did I turn him down? And so most likely you just gotta keep it up, be charismatic, have some fun, have some good conversations. And you gotta wait for her to come back to you because obviously she rejected you. And I don't think it was going too fast for her at all. That's just an excuse. She just didn't really know what to make of it when you asked her about it. I think you just have to repeat the same thing again. Obviously, you gotta get her to your place again. You should keep on making out. So, you know, if you can't make this happen again, go on dates, but you should treat her like your girlfriend. Even if she's not your girlfriend yet, you should make out, you should hold hands, make her feel comfortable. And next time you gotta take action with your body, with your dick. You've been thinking too much with your brain and that's why she got turned off. She doesn't want that. She wants a man who takes action, who's not afraid to take action, but she could feel that you were insecure. So what you're feeling right now, the insecurity about her rejecting you, I don't think that this just happened after the rejection. I would say that you probably already had some insecurity going into this. So now you're prepared, now you know what is the right thing to do. So the next time when you go to your place and you're already intoxicated, so she should be ready for it. And she wanted to get laid clearly. Uh, did she actually get her books? You didn't mention this. I have a feeling she didn't pick up her books. So clearly she just wanted to get laid. I wouldn't ask her about, hey, you still wanna get your books because that might be approval seeking behavior again. It has to be her idea, of course, to come back to you. And then at some point you gotta invite her to your place again. And this time you gotta do it right. And the important thing is to not question yourself don't question her attraction to you. You're an amazing king and she clearly still loves you. She clearly still wants to be with you. So that shows and tells you everything that you need to know. So you just gotta have sex, seduce her and that's it. And the way to do that is with physical intimacy, not through words. So that is my advice for you. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and never forget to unleash the king within.